Hey everybody, should have nobody else's auto. Gonna bring you a little more detailed walk around of this 1974 Camaro Z28 that I just picked up. We brought you live on location. We were getting ready to pull it out of the building where it had been since 1984. We gave you a quick walk around of the car in the building before we moved it, as well as we talked to the former owner who'd owned this car since 1976. So it was literally a two year old used car when he got it and it was his first car. He quit driving it in 84, parked it. It sat in that building until we pulled it out the day we did that live video for you. So, got the car back to my shop, ran to the car wash, blew the top layer of dirt off of it, kind of looked it over, checked a few things out, kind of got a little better idea of what I've got. So that's what we're gonna show you tonight. We're gonna give you a little more detail, walk around, check out a few more things. If you remember on the other video, we found all the original paperwork for this car. Everything out of the glove box, the build sheet, the option list, everything that this car came with when it was new is still with it. And this car is gold, and it is a factory gold, so I got my 74 Chevrolet dealer album out. And this is a code 53, I believe, which is light gold. So we look at our color wheel, shows it right there on the color wheel of the 1974 Chevy Salesman's album, which if you went to order a new 1974 Chevy, this is the book that they use. So really excited I still had one of these in my collection, so I started checking out all the cool stuff about this car, going through this book and checking out things in the Camaro section. But it's really neat to go through these and see all of the information and details from the, when people ordered these cars brand new. So a nice addition to it as well. But anyway, you wanna see the car, let's show you the car. Like I said, we blew the top layer of dust off of it. We're standing here at the back of the car and it's got dings and dinks and whammos in it. It's a 45 year old car, it's gonna happen. Spoilers crack, the taillights crack. This was a daily driven, regular, normal, typical mode of transportation in the early 80s until they parked the car. That type of stuff happened. To even show that it came from that era, still got the hijacker sticker in the back window. Typical, uh, typical modification back in the day, you definitely had to show it off when you did it. So obviously we'll start walking around this car, 74 the first year for these wraparound taillights. Uh, as opposed to the round ones in the rear tail panel of the earlier cars. This wraparound also eliminated the need for a rear side marker in 74. They also went to the crash bumpers in 74, which a lot of people don't like. Me, I think it makes it a little more unique. Obviously, the last year for the small back window before they went to the wraparound back window as well. A lot of really unique things about the 1974 Camaro that makes it different from a 70 and a half to a 73 and different from a 75 on up. This car still has all the original wheels on it. It's all completely intact. We'll take a peek in this side while we're here, and then we'll look at the other side when we get on around it, but it's basically just the way they pulled it in and shut the key off. One another thing interesting to note, we look at the sill plates on this car, and they are not scraped and gouged from years of these big heavy doors dragging over them as the hinges wore out. The doors on this car, still close exactly the way they should. Something you really don't see on the second gen F bodies very often. As we come around the front, you'll notice the front clip of this car has definitely been painted. This was an emblem car, fender emblem car, did not have the call outs on the hood and the trunk lid. I do love the call outs on the hood and trunk lid, so this car probably will get them at some point. But this car was involved in a, uh, just a, basically the former said he bumped the sign, it cracked the header panel, the sign flew over smacked onto the hood, so they had to put a header panel on it, paint the whole front clip back in the day when they did that. Let's pop the hood and take a look under here. I've had a little bit of chance, a little bit of time to do a little bit of research, have not gotten real deep into this yet, but I got the air cleaner off, was able to see the number on the carb, some of that type of stuff that I could get to, the carb, the intake, everything on this car from so far from what I have seen is totally correct. The carb is the correct number. We look around here, still got the fin aluminum valve covers. This is an August of 74 build. So if we look back under here, we can see the HEI distributor. The early 74 cars did not have HEI. January of 74 is when they started switching these cars over to HEI. This being an August build car of 74. It's a late 74, does have the HEI in it, just like it should have. Only thing that's really been changed, they took the battery out of this when they put it in storage, which is good. They unbolted the support brace, flipped it out of the way, took the battery out of it, and parked the car is basically what it looks like happened. So really great for this car to have all this original equipment still intact. And like I said, as I get a little deeper into it, I'll have time to check a few more numbers. But 
everything I found so far, you know, is, when the carb is right, that's a really good sign because obviously that's the first thing and the easiest thing to change. So really excited to get into that and see what, and hopefully keep my fingers crossed, everything under there is correct. While we're here, let's, before we close the head, let's see if we can take a look at the trim tag on this car. I don't know if we can get in there and get a shot of it or not. It's kind of tricky. Maybe we can get it from this angle. There we go. We can see right on there, we've got the first week of August as a build date. We've got the Z28 right on this tag, which is really unique, you know, that they were actually clar clarifying the cars there. Neutral or natural color interior. We see the 5353 codes for light gold top and bottom. So everything's correct there. So we'll go ahead and close the hood, keep walking around, check out the rest of this car. Everything fits there. Like we talked about, this had the Z28 badges on the fenders, did not have the call outs. I like them both. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I do really like the call outs. It may not be correct, but it may end up with both of them when I get done, I don't know. But like I said, the car has been sitting for a long time. We can get over here and take a look on the inside of the driver's side. Steering wheel's been changed. It's got like a 69, 68, 69 teakwood steering wheel in it. I'll have to find a correct steering wheel. Dash is all intact with the exception of the radio. Original seats are still there, got covers on them. We can see around the edges that they've got some wear to them. So, but obviously this thing's 45 years old, we expect that. However, one thing real interesting, we look at the back seat and they're really pretty good. I don't think this back seat was hardly ever used in this car back when it was being used. Something else kind of funny found in the car we're gonna show you, share with you just to point it out. Who remembers these? Found this laying in the back seat. Hooked up on your coat hangers, clothes rod. Still laying in the back seat of this car. So something kind of different. Hadn't thought about those in years. So I thought we'd point that out that we found one in here. Let's take a peek inside the trunk of this thing real quick. See how the left door shuts here. And about as good as you can expect for a 45 year old F body. We come around take a peek in the trunk jack's still here basically just got part of the old trunk mat just the way this car was used back in the day see if we can peel some of this back look up under here i mean trunk floor looks excellent a little bit of surface rust but car looks really solid i've got up got underneath it looked at everything underneath the floors floors still even have some gold paint left on them still got the jack instructions under here we can get a little better idea. It's kind of dark. We can get a little better idea of that gold, that it really is a pretty bright gold. And I actually do like the color. It is definitely 70s, but hey, it's a 74 Camaro. I expect it to be 70s. So that's what I like about it. Even had a trailer hitch on it, like we talked about in the other video, something you don't always see on a Camaro today. But hey, back in the day, these were transportation. A lot of people that drove these cars had one vehicle. That was what they had. You know, they didn't have an, an old pickup or an SUV or anything like that to haul stuff. You had one car, you drove it to work, you drove it to the restaurant, you used it to haul trash, you did whatever you had to do with it. You used it to haul your boat sometimes because you had one vehicle and that's what you did. So, you know, back in the day, not uncommon to see that. In today's world, crazy to think about, but not uncommon back in the day. So there's the car. One other thing we're going to show you tonight, let's check out these parts that came with it. Like we talked about in the other videos, the former owner was an actual Chevrolet dealer. His family was a Chevrolet dealer. He was like third generation. They've been Chevy dealers since the 40s. So over the years, he gathered up a few new old stock pieces for this car, which is what we've got laying here. They were all piled inside the car. So we're going to take a look and see what was all in here. I haven't even dumped all these boxes out. We've got a filler panel, another little piece of trim. Got some new duct ductwork. Looks like would have gone up under the dash. This is kind of cool. New old stock glove box door. This is another jack that was laying in the car, but it's not for this car because it's still got its jack in it. And this it was actually set up for a hook. I ran the numbers on this. This looks like a 69 Camaro new old stock jack, but haven't had much time to do too much research into that. So I'm going to double check that too. Uh, some suspension parts. Let's 
another little piece of trim. There's a big box. Dual stock lower door panel. Still got the GM tag on that. Newell stock lower grill. A few more pieces in here. Uh, another rubber filler panel. And one more stack. We got new front badges. A pair of them. I don't need a pair, but hey, he must have ordered two of them when he could. So we've got those for the front header. And then we've got trim rings. A whole set of Newell stock trim rings for these factory wheels. All still on the GM boxes. So that's kind of cool stuff too. So anyway, super excited about this car. Uh, plans for it, probably at this point, I'm probably going to keep it. I'm, I'm in love with this thing. Super excited about it. You know, there's always something that ties you back to a former memory. And that's one thing this car does for me. Now, obviously, I, like we talked about in the other videos, I'm an October of 74. This is an August of 74. So this car was built two months before I was born, which is always cool. But another little, interesting little twist to the 1974 Camaro for me, when I was about six or seven years old, my dad bought one. He was at a dealership up in north central Kansas buying all their Newell stock parts. And they traded for a bright green 74 Z28 that was a four-speed car. Like I said, I was probably six or seven years old at the time. Didn't know much about it. One thing I did know, it was a four-speed, it was loud, and it was awesome when my dad took me for a ride and took that thing out and started hammering it through the gears. Super cool. Stuck with me to this day. That car did have the call-outs on it, on the hood and trunk. So there again, that may be another little tie as to why I like the call-outs so much of that big black stripe coming down the front and the back of these cars. So that's probably what's going to happen to this car. But to this day, 40 years later, I still remember that green 74 Z28 and going out and banging it through. My dad taking me out and banging that thing through the gears and how awesome that was at that time. So a lot of ties to the 74 Camaro. The 74 Z28, obviously a very unique car. The last year for the Z28 at that time before they reintroduced it in 77. A lot of the differences we talked about, the taillights, the bumpers, the last year with the small back window, so many unique things about the 74 Z28. So to find a car like this in this condition, you know, basically unmolested, needs done, but I mean, it's all there. It's all just right the way it should be. Um, documented with all the paperwork and a great history and a great car. It's going to need quarter skins. You know, it's got a little bit of rust above the wheels and a little bit on behind the wheels. It's got a, a small spot of rust in each front fender behind the real behind the wheels. But it's all minimal. For a 45-year-old F-body, I'm pretty excited about the condition of this car. So, anyway, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you guys are fans of them like I am. I'm pretty stoked about this car. So, um, thanks for staying, hanging out and going around the walk around on us, on the car with me and checking it out. So, if you're on Facebook, please subscribe or please share the video with your friends. Have them come over, hang out with us, like the page, check out all the cool stuff we've got going on. Everything we post on here is old car stuff. Cars, trucks, automobilia, it's about all I know. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other old videos, all my videos, because that's what it is. It's all old car stuff. So, as always, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for checking out what we've got going on. More cool videos coming up. Stay tuned. Be sure to jump on with us on a regular basis. I post several times a week. And check out all the cool old iron that's coming in. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon on the next video.